Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dramic. Welcome back to more of Persona 3 Reload. Last time, we did the last full moon operation. Well, the one in July, anyway. And did some more social link stuff. And today, it seems like we're going to be getting into some more port-heavy stuff. So, first, letting you know first. Kutsuki-san is coming tonight. Sounds like he has something to tell us. We'll meet on the fourth floor once we're all back. Yes, but before that, we do have an afternoon to spend. So, we have This Is Mitsuko or Promise. Um, you know, we'll go, we'll start with Bunkichi, I don't want to open with Maiko, because that's quite sad. Um, I learned how to do capital letters, are you guessing these? Anyway, come visit us at the shop. Um, <laughs> oh, I, I, I love the way old people text, there's just, there's such a charm about it. Either way, uh, use the bookstore, we're going to get closer, so yeah. Let's see what they have to say to us today. Hopefully it is some good news. What happened? Ah, oh, don't you worry. She's she's crying because she's happy. She's an emotional woman, bless her heart. She's been like this since the day we met. You see, all the graduates from my son's class have come together. They're collecting signatures to save the persimmon tree. They say the tree is a memorial to their former teacher. They don't want it to be cut down. That's great. It was the same for our son's funeral. Many of them showed up for it. It's been so many years since then, but they still remember it. They've given their precious time for our son. I don't know what to say. I'm so grateful. You must be the one who called on them for this, right? No, that's right. What are you talking about? No, it was not me. Ah, don't pretend it's just us. You don't have to be so modest. You're a samurai. A modern day samurai. The two seem to think I'm responsible for the petition. They're showing considerable gratitude. I feel like we're growing closer. So we got three points overall there, which decent amount, but I don't know if they'll be ready to rank up immediately. Guess we'll find out in a little bit. Before you know it, you'll graduate and step boldly into adulthood. Don't forget about us, you hear? Someday I'd love to grab a drink, you and me. But for now, you'll have to make do with this. Cielo Mist! That's not half bad, you know. See you again soon. Hell yeah. I parted with the elderly couple and went back to the dorm. So now... Let's see what Akutsuki has to say. And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the setting. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo senpai something. Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus, but they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan? There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured, but something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. 
I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy. But 10 years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident, and the experiment failed. They lost control of the Shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Maybe that's why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Than those students who were hospitalized. It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Fort Island must have been the perfect location for them. So, yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekko Khan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? <laughs> and you knew too, didn't you, Sonata-senpai? You've both just been using us! Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair, but Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point! I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsu, that's enough. Takeda-ku, it's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> it's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But now that they're here, we have the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? What if I told you that the Twelve Shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it, and this is where our true battle begins. Our true battle... 
Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. Hmm. We must defeat the 12 shadows that started all of this, in order to eradicate both the Dark Hour and Tartarus. I must fight to protect everyone. Six of them remain. So, let's get down to business then. But, ooh, ooh what do we do? So, everyone, everyone's down here. Ooh, I, I imagine we're not going to be able to speak to Yukari or Mitsuru, which I would love to do, do not get me wrong, but, ooh. Yeah, that was a, was a hefty one, wasn't it? Although, while it's on the mind, um, I think we'll take a little break, because I imagine the story stuff keeps going for most of this episode. We do have two things on the console, so let's watch them. Let's play catch-up, as it were. So, 6-14-2009, 4-17pm, starting playback. Paul? Looks like Junpei's room. This way, officer. By the time I noticed the door was halfway open, his room was already like this. I've left the place untouched as you requested. Hmm. Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a second year student. I've been trying to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last half hour. <sighs> it was careless of me to let my guard down. The storm was attacked once in the past. Perhaps Iori himself is at fault here. However, if harm has fallen upon him as head of seas, I am accountable. I hate to say it, Kirijo-san, but he most likely... Huh? Kirijo-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to get a hold of you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot, and the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe. But I fell asleep. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. So if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Burglar? What else could it be? Someone clearly ransacked the place looking for something, vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that they face a swift execution. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. How about it, Iori? Was this room really vandalized? Ah, uh, well, this is how my room always looks? W what But, I mean, you can't possibly live like this, can you? W what about the door? It was open. Oh, that? I was just airing the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... Huh. I think this case is closed. May I get back to my duties now, young lady? Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to witness something so disgraceful. Uh. I apologize. For all this, it seems I grew up more sheltered than I realized. You're not even gonna yell at me? And what's the deal with calling the cops over a messy room anyway? What the hell did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. I drew that worst luck fortune on the way back. The recording ends here. And I believe there is another one as well, um, for May, if memory serves. So, another recording. Can I go through? Huh, never mind. Um, okay, see, I'm getting them out of order in my head now. Anyway, whoo, ready to go in your TV. Well, it's stuck in your head. Come quickly now. And he's, once again, he's using his work email. My guy. My guy. I love Tanaka. So, let's see what great wisdom he has to impart on us today. Okay, have some time to spare, shall I give you some more valuable life lessons? 
Free of charge, of course. Seems that President Tanaka wants to talk to me, and we absolutely shall talk to him as well. Ready to learn from the best. Today, I'll tell you a funny story. These days, even a grade schooler knows how to buy stocks online. How about you? Interested in stock trading? Unfortunately. <laughs> That's the spirit. If you keep all your money in the bank, your modest gains will be offset by outrageous fees. Don't let the fear of bankruptcy dissuade you. It pays to be aggressive in the management of your assets. My company just went public on the stock exchange. Since our sales were skyrocketing, we decided to sell shares. And guess what? The number of shareholders skyrocketed too. And now listen. <laughs> this is the funny part. The majority of our shareholders <coughs> are also our customers. They keep buying more of our products, so of course the stock will rise. Isn't that hysterical? <laughs> you should learn to appreciate the irony. I'm thinking of offering you a job, so come up with some stories of your own. I received passionate advice from President Snacker. I understand him a little better now. To be fair, um, I'm, I unfortunately do have a passing interest in stock things, but the best advice I can give to anyone interested in that that I've picked up is just invest in stuff you're interested in, so... Also, yeah, people investing who are also Tanaka's customers, they are actually... They gotta swindle him harder than he thinks he's gonna swindle them, I tell you. Have you been keeping your promise? Uh, you didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, I'll find out where you live and ring the doorbell every night! Ooh. We're playing with a dangerous man. Very dangerous man. Anyway... Um, so there is an event coming up, but I don't know when it is. Um, I just wanted to start this episode with that previous cutscene. But, uh, ooh! Lounging about as usual, huh? Hmm? You. What do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. Huh. You haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge your head like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the dark hour. No shit? Yeah. The thing is, all I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second, like yesterday. Someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. <laughs> well, see you around. You really haven't changed at all. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? This is unusual. Please, come in! So not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. Oh, well, very little of that was made public. I know.
That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean, hack into their system? Is that allowed? I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth. In detail. Senpai? Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose. So no, I don't have any complaints. You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Uh, oh! Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour are on the way out, huh? Yeah. No, that's a good thing. That's what we've been fighting for. So then... Why? Damn it! Why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Wow, I can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> Who cares? We're just going to get into college and start having fun already. <laughs> I get it. My problem was me. And going on like fighting was my duty, you know. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, without that, I'm nothing. <laughs> so much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. right about the worst things. Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad, I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in ten years' time, Yukari. You may be small now, but in 10 years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work, but I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Oh, Dad. Yukari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder, like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. <laughs> I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. Not ever. Um, that's sent her to her in 10 years time, right? Just to double check. Doesn't the year take place in 2009? Um, that, uh, I, Never mind. Um, I, I feel that's probably change made in Persona 3 Portable, but... Eh. Either way, chat box is blinking and Maya wants to play with us. So we'll play Maya and not think about the discrepancy too badly. I'm in Shinagawa Dungeon, I see Maya. 
Oh, wow, did you just get here? We signed on at the same TM. The weather is nice today, huh? Let's go outside. Uh huh. Yeah, hmm. In game, duh. Try still, and uh, oh, in. Shinagawa. The great cold sky stretches as far as the eye can see. The barren wasteland lies before Tatsuya and Maya. Maya is stretching. For an apocalypse, the air sure is nice out here. Meh. Psy, yeah, right. Just a game. We should go level or something. I'm so lazy, IRL Tatsu. I haven't gotten dressed or put on makeup, TT. Maya stands at attention. Ah, uh, I'm gonna ask them for the ask the best. I'm so pissed off right now. Mr. E is such a stupid S O B T dash dash T. Who's Mr. E? Are you drunk again? Do you mean S O B? Now, who's Mr. E? Tatsuya, you know too much now. I shouldn't have mentioned his name, huh? No. Ha 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 ha, ruffle him out. Oh, don't get me busted, K. Maya seems happy. Maya is looking around. Um, there aren't that many players anymore. Most of them left that new MMO, C-O-W. But there are still a lot of dupers in gold farms, but still. It's good, though, because it lets us talk about personal things, right? Nah. Maya is a shy girl, you know. Blush. Lol. See, Mr. E is the teacher who's kinda above me. Oh no, you can't figure out what my job is, can you? Drunken master, reporter, are you a teacher? Maya's a reporter right now, look at teacher. Yeah, you're smart, I knew you'd figure it out. You get an A plus for reading comprehension today, lol. Maya seems happy. Well, now you know I'm a teacher, XD. Hey, I just figured something out, oh oh. When I complain to you, I feel better afterwards, XD. From now we have to party up together, okay? Promise! Mm -hmm. It seems Maya feels comfortable talking to me about real life. I feel like we're growing closer. Indeed! Anyway, that brings us up into what, rank 5? Rank 5. Knew it. I'm so pumped. I think I'll clean tap bathroom, XD. It's been two months. <laughs> Maya's player signed off. And then, so- Ooh! Don't tell anyone about that SOB stuff, K. It's our little secret! Maya's player signed off again. I decided to log out as well. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me, Maya. It's not like I know who a Mr. E is anyway. Oh! oh. Um, Fuka 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 Fuka, what you want? Maybe we should hold off on going to Tartarus tonight, too. It looks like everyone is studying in their own rooms. They're all busy keeping to themselves because they're studying, right? I hope so. Well, Me too. I can't stop thinking about it. What if they're hiding in their rooms because of something else? Oh. Ah, well. Now, has our... What's it called? Social stat leveled up quickly. I'm just gonna have a quick... Academic still needs leveling up, and we do start our tests tomorrow, so... Not Katsu. I will I'll head to a Katsu if the um what's it called? The other place. Arcade doesn't have any education stuff going on. Well there is a card here. Oh that's right. Yeah, we leveled the monk up, didn't we? So we could start him soon as well. I don't want to focus on my academics for now, so please. Ooh! Strength you that's nah, a Sunday, isn't it? Nah, never mind. Um guess it's off to Katsu then. Um Wish me luck that I hit rank 4, because I kind of want to do well on this test to get my reward from Mitsuru and whatnot. Girl, I always, I always feel bad that I like, rush through and I don't hear too much of this song, but because it is a banger. But yep, yeah, seafood full course, get those two points, and it's like... No, never mind, it doesn't change the music here, does it? Oh. Just, oh, it's... I love this song, man. It's so goddamn good. Is it going to rank us up, though? You son of a gun. I feel like a right mug now. And ooh! Um I was not expecting something to happen in the dark hour, but yeah. It's good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So tell me, how's life as a persona user? Fulfilling. That's good to hear. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. 
It all stems from something that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Oh, didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape their true self. But no matter what, I won't leave you because we're friends, right? I sent a faint bond forming between Pharos and me. So that's rank number two, isn't it? Oh, rank three. Yeah, never mind. Good night. And there he goes. Gone. Gone to the wind. Anyway, is this the start of tests of the they begin on Tuesday? Okay, let's see. So I can hear students talking. Uh, we have exams starting tomorrow and a cumulative, so it's hard to remember everything. You know what? Oh, what if I fail again? I wish the school would stop posting our names or our scores. Right? It's embarrassing if we're near the bottom of the list. Some people like Karijo Senpai wouldn't get it though. The first bell has rung. So we have one more day. One final, last ditch chance to become smarter. So, exams are starting tomorrow. Are you all ready? Some vacation is just within reach, so you'd better study hard. Why aren't you excited? You know, summer vacation, beaches, shaved ice, woohoo. Also, it's the hottest time of the year, though. Don't go overheating, okay? Ah, that reminds me. There's an old expression for the hottest time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. I'm feeling sleepy. Nope, you are gonna stay awake. We need those points. The dark days of summer. It goes all the way back to an ancient Latin phrase, the puppy days. Any idea where that came from, anyone? Well, it's because Sirius, also called the Dog Star, believes that at the start of summer, people believed it brought droughts and misfortune. He was hoping we can avoid, avoid that, I guess. Have a nice vacation. I actually learned that. I, I've, um, I've heard the song Dog Days Are Over recently, and I was wondering what the Dog Days actually referred to, so... Mm, look at me. Learning things. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Anyway, class has ended for today, and no one's going to be around, are they? So... No subject. You, okay. I really want to see you. That is, um... It, it's slightly concerning, I'll admit, but... Sure, we'll go meet with Maiko. Uh, see what's going on with her. And, uh, any more Twilight Fragments spawning in around here? Nah, not that I can see. Worth a quick look anyway. But... You came! Mom and Dad, they... I feel like I might grow closer to Maiko soon, so let's see what's wrong with her. Don't do it. Calm down. It's up to you. You can do what I want? You mean it? I'm running away. I made up my mind. I better start packing soon. Hey, what should I bring if I'm running away from home? I need lots of snacks, right? And my insurance card? That should be enough. It'll take more than that. Maiko is deep in thought. Either way, I'm gonna give it a try. Don't worry, I'll be just fine, okay? I'm gonna miss playing with you though. Maiko seems fond of me. I feel like we're growing closer. <laughs> oh, love, love how getting the most points is just encouraging this child to run away from home. Like, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> I walked Maiko home, then returns to the dorm. Okay. Well, evening. Last chance to get our academics to rank up. Welcome back. Ooh. What's wrong? 
go hungry or something? Mm, not really. An awkward silence fills the room. Um, you know, it's almost summer break. Oh yeah, it is, huh? Does anyone have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, <laughs> babes in bikini. Man, a break like that sure would be nice. Somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But starting tomorrow, we gotta get through our exams. Oh man, this sucks. I'm sure you'll be fine, but it would be nice to go somewhere with beautiful beaches like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Oh, Rijoku, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He... he will? You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and get a nice change of scenery? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beaches and bikinis! Beaches and bikinis! Beaches and bikinis? This guy. <laughs> How about it, Kiri Joku? Well, my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> Why so hesitant? No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. And we already know when the next operation will be, so I think it'll be fine. I don't know. Hi, I'm begging you. <laughs> all right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. The beach, huh? <laughs> I should design a special training regimen. Oh man, I can't wait! Oh, I need to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got one you can borrow. Nice try. Are you going to swim too, Mr. Chairman? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. Wait, seriously? I'll be stupid. <laughs> Kirito-senpai, wait up! Uh... I just wanted to say sorry about the other day. I might have gotten a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident survived, but there is one who did. What? There is? My father. I had no idea. Oh, -ho. most interesting then. And Ikutsuki. I can study with Ikutsuki. Hello. About Yakushima. Remember that you won't be able to go if you don't score well in your exams. Since everyone is here, why don't you have the third years look over your studies? Yes, please. Goodbye. Alright, I'll let the other second years know too. Hmm, the ferry trip to Yakushima on the line. I hope you perform very well on your exams. I'm fine helping out with studying, but wouldn't it be easier to focus without the distraction? They say studying with others grants benefits that can't be found alone. Hey, so if we flunk the exams, are we really gonna have to stay behind? Tell me that's a joke. It's no joke. As students, studying is our top priority. Failure will result in consequences. I'm not too worried about that. I'm not naming names here, but don't get in the way, Junpei. What happened to not naming names? Mm, 
I guess the fate of my trip depends on it. I don't really have a choice. I'll show you. I'll prove just how serious I am about Yagishima. My hand stops as I hear the tough question. What's the matter? Something we need help with? This vocabulary, this math problem, this grammar. We'll do grammar this time, because we did maths last time. Old English verb conjugation differs from modern day. For example, you are becomes thou art. Oh my, remembering how to use archaic forms of verbs sounds rather intense. Uh, intense. I like the sound of that one. Keeping a note of that. Wisecracks from Junpei are one thing. I didn't account for this. Maybe he's trying to test our ability to concentrate? Uh, yeah, I suppose that's not likely. Hmm. Kutsuki sounds one up to me. I gotta think of a killer comeback. Stop getting distracted. You need to concentrate on your studies. She's right. Gotta focus. Let's keep at it. I focused so hard I couldn't hear anything else. Please. Please. Are you struggling with memorization? Nothing beats repeating it until you know it by heart. Beats? Heart? <laughs> Not bad, Kirijo kun What? No, that, that was not my intent with that statement. Well, if you're pulling out of the race, then I win, hands down. Kirijo Senpai beats Beaten. Ugh, this is giving me a headache. Despite the diversions, I'd say that was productive. Keep it up so we can all go to Yakushima together. Okay, so we're not ranked up in academics, but you know what? Well, We'll manage, won't we? We'll manage. The final semester, no, the final exams for this semester will begin today and last for five days. Okay, so it's blitz for a few days. I don't see much of an issue with that. But we don't get our evenings, which is a bit sad. Anyway, this question seems familiar. What form of magic is used to find water sources? This is dowsing, isn't it? Yeah, okay. That's day one done. Look at us go. We are so, we are so good at this. Right, okay. Hopefully I can get all of these right, because you know, I wanna... And I'm probably not gonna get the top of my class, but, you know. The higher I do, the better. This question seems familiar. How did the Witch of Agnesi gain the first half of its name? It's enchanting formula. Oh, it's a witch invented it. The shape is bewitching. Oh, um... Oh, what was it? The Witch of... That's the graph, isn't it? It's enchant- that is actually... Shit. It's not because of witch invented it. It might be an error in translation. That seems to make the most sense. <gasps> oh my god! It, like, they, they wouldn't put that on a standardized test unless it was like some boring answer like that. I'm very glad I actually went with that. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. Okay, up next. This question seems familiar. Who designed the prototype for the katana? I think Masakado is right. Yep. He's mentioned Masakado so many times that samurai teacher is like, I know. I know. I know. Okay. And Friday. Just gonna make it through these in the last. Well, I think this will be the final question we get, but the question seems familiar. There's an error in the sentence. What kind is it? I'm gonna imagine it's a comma splice. Because that's the only one that we've been mentioned. Uh, if our if our academics was one higher, I reckon we'd be top of the class with us. And then Saturday, one more, it all comes down to it. Oh. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Ah, so we've got a new block. Very nice, very nice. Yo, what's up? Thank God today's the last day of exams. Yeah. So, Man, I can't wait to get with some steam. 
Yeah, little Ooster and Summer, you know? Indeed. Now, do we have to answer any questions today, or is this just the one that goes by automatically? It's the last day of exams. All these questions look familiar. I feel like I did well. Top of the class, come on. Give it to me. Pretty please. Whatever. A real man doesn't dwell in the past. I'm already thinking ahead to the blue skies of Yakushima. Oh yeah, that's coming up soon, huh? Are you all ready to go? Yep. Yeah, I guess I should start getting ready too. Oh, sorry, I don't sound very enthusiastic, do I? Hey, how about we stop somewhere on the way back? I don't have practice today. Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. Very funny. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka too. Hey, uh, I know I've been kind of a dick lately. So, uh, sorry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, let's put this whole thing behind us. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. Kutsuki-san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new candidate. Does that mean another person is going to join? Maybe. Fuka! What's wrong, Natsuki-chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one. Oh wait, are you about to head out for the day? Okay then, never mind. Wait, it's all right. I'll help you. Sorry, I'll see you all back at the dorm later. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. Mr. Chairman? Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Amada-kun. What are you doing here? You know him? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about your parents, right? It used to only be me and my mom. She got in an accident. So now it's just me. It happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But that doesn't mean he should stay at the elementary school dorm all by himself, right? So I decided to move him to your dorm, just for the summer. <laughs> to our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. Then, he's the new candidate? That's right. But as you can see, he's still just an elementary school student. So it's only a possibility for now. Are you... Akihiko Sonata-senpai? Uh, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You've never lost a boxing match. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Seems like Akihiko is acting a little bit weird. Wonder what that's all about. 
the my school exams? Hello vacation. Here we come. I can't wait for Monday. Okay, so we have this evening and Sunday and then Ooh. Yes, precisely. Oh, speaking of pulling your mall, here take this. Black sword. What's that? <laughs> it's a small reward. You all deserve something for studying hard for your exams. Have you heard of the antique shop at Polonia Mall? It's called Mayoido. It just reopened today, actually. If you bring that to the shop, I'm sure they'll be of great help to you. How's an antique shop gonna help us? Am I missing something? I can't quite explain it well myself. It'd be better from the shop owner than from me. Well then, I would take you to take care of it from here. Okay. So that has reopened, but oh okay, I do not have an option. I didn't use that in my original playthrough, but can I just I better get going. Ah, damn it. So it is it's this one, isn't it? Antique shop? No, that's the pharmacy. No, it's it's the one to the right in it. There you are. My widow antiques, how they'll be able to help me, I don't know. Guess the only thing left to do is find out. Okay. Oh, you're in high school and you're shopping here? Well, take your time and look around. Seems this lady owns the antique shop. I should show her the black sword that I got from Akutsuki. What? What's that? Well, here, let me have a look. I see. So you're one of those that Kurosawa was talking about. This is a humble antique shop, having said that I believe I can be of some assistance to you. As long as you have something like this black sword, that is. This here is a base model for crafting weapons. By fusing it with various materials, you can craft special equipment. I can help with the crafting process, but you'll have to collect the required materials yourself. These base materials can be found in places that tend to be unwelcoming. That's why it'll be up to you to collect them. Also, if you find any gems or the like, I'd be willing to exchange them for some of my wares here. Well then, go ahead and have a gander. You can now travel to Mayo Wido Antiques to conduct an item fusion or item exchange. Yeah, the other gives us stuff. Okay, so can I trade a card in? Okay. Um, oh, so these give me things with the stones, then fuse equipment. I need Malachi. Oh, okay, so I fuse it with the thing, and then does that get me... I see. Base mold for a fusion weapon, and then it lets me pick it here, so... 130, 145, and then... I mean... What's my current? I mean, we may as well. You know, it's... And then... Do I... I'm not sure if I can equip that, but we'll back on out. I never really used this place in my original playthrough, so I'm definitely rusty on how it works. But if I were to just go equip that, can I... Yeah, I mean, go us, I guess. Um, right. In any event, Naka's banging around, so... Um, do I want to do him or do I want to start the new person, or... Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I will start the new guy, actually, because it might give me something else to do. Um, depending on what his starter stats are. And now he's this guy up here, but before I do that... Guy with URLs. Um, oh, security site note, I will take that. And revenge site note, I'll take that as well. Um, Troy do those at some point, but as it stands for now, you. Where's my booze? The lazy eyed monkey is drinking. I mustered up enough courage to talk to him. Booze! Where's my booze? If you want nothing to say, if you're not gonna leave booze. Um, do I need to acquire him a drink? If I order some alcohol for this monk, maybe he'll be willing to speak to me. Um, I'd be very shocked if I could actually get alcohol for him. Oh, okay, so you can buy stuff from there, but where's the bar? Um, this place does have a bar, right? Like, it's it's a club. Um, am I, am I, oh, you, bartender. Oh, it's for the monk upstairs. Uh, yes, it's the truth. If you so you say, look, I'm busy here and something like this could get me in trouble. How about this? Can you just go around and take care of everyone's orders? If you do that, I'll bring a drink upstairs for him. Ooh! Okay, so I just gotta take orders and then pass them on. Okay, I'm with you. Alright, what do you want? What do you want? Are you taking orders? Bring me a ginger ale. The no, oolong tea. Okay, oolong tea. Then a screwdriver. Yep, okay, so screwdriver. Um, oolong tea, screwdriver. Um, Uong Tea, Screwdriver, Bloody Mary, and a Margarita. See, she was straightforward, and, um, okay, she's just not caring. Okay, hey. bartender, did I get one of those? I did. Okay. Oh, hey. Right, what did the girl by the entrance order? She ordered a Bloody Mary. 
I see. Okay then, her. She wanted a margarita. Then, in the middle of the floor, she wanted a screwdriver. And then, all the way on the left, wanted a Wong T. All right, I'll get start on the drinks. Please be right. You screwed up the order. I'm trying to run a business here. I know you so I can't pay attention, will you? Oh. Do I gotta ask them again? Okay. All right, a ginger ale. No, right, so oolong tea. Okay, yeah. Oolong tea. Screwdriver. Bloody Mary. Margarita. It was Margarita, Bloody Mary, screwdriver, hey. oolong tea. Uh, yes, I actually did. Okay, let's go. I'm just gonna fast forward through this. Okay. She wanted a margarita. Shit. I should know this. Hang on. She wanted a margarita. Oh, I love exploiting this. Okay, then she wanted a apple martini. Wait, did she want an apple martini? Or am I on the, the wrong one? I want the margarita. Okay. No, she wants a Bloody Mary. Okay. A girl standing by the back wants a Bloody Mary. She wants a screwdriver, and then this guy wants a new Wong T. That is correct. Hey. Hey, you got everyone's orders right. Thank for your help. Oh, hey. So, what did you want again? Oh, a drink from the monk upstairs. Everybody wants more brandy right. again. I'll serve him a glass for you, since you don't seem like a bad kid. Looks like if you gain this trust, you should now be able to talk to the monk. I will now let oh, him hey. know that his drink is coming up. Hooray! I told him that I've ordered his drink. That must have impressed the monk. He seems to have taken an interest in me. You look awfully young, kid. Still in high school? One of the employees here is thinking about someone like you and... Well, <clears throat> since you got me a drink, I'll pretend I'm your guardian so you don't get thrown out of here. Take a seat. Well, come on, kid, sit down. I'm gonna look out at you and strain in my neck. So, wanted to see where adults spend their time, huh? Not that I can't relate. Well, don't worry. Two or three more years, you'll be old enough to hang out here unsupervised. Just take it easy, kid. You'll be legal before you know it. No need to rush. Trying to act like an adult just makes you look more like a kid. You know? <laughs> well, I guess that sounds funny coming out of an alcohol drinking cigar smoking monk, huh? Is alcohol good? Some people like it. So I guess it is? Probably. I have no idea. I just drink to get drunk. When you get drunk, it makes you feel good. Young people always think the grass is greener on the other side. Well, don't get your hopes up too high, kid. That way you won't be disappointed when things don't work out. There might come a time when you'll have to drink when you don't want to, and smoke just to get through the day. Yeah, nothing like those punks I see running around town these days. <laughs> Say the same for my son, though. Always being taken in by the police for questioning. Disgrace me. <laughs> I'm gonna remember your fate, kid. Next time you come in here, I'm gonna have you thrown out, got it? <laughs> I became acquainted with a strange monk. Okay, Elizabeth, nope. We are going straight through this. Tower Arcana, okay, I will make a note of that. Um, just want to have him started. Um, you know, gives us something else to do. I and mean, we're not all the nighttime social links, by the way. <laughs> but yeah. Hit the road. Don't come back. But what if I like the smell of cigarettes and alcohol, old man? What then? He's killing my vibe, yo. You killed my vibe. Either way, um, we've got just Sunday day, actually, if we leave on Monday, so, yeah. Post-exam break begins today. It's almost time for the home shopping show, and the crops are ready to be grown. Okay, well, first things first, Tanaka. So, hello, everyone. Welcome to the home of the shopping show, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. I'm your host, Tanaka, with a live presentation of my amazing commodities. We'll show you great products at some beastable prices, so don't touch that dial, because you don't want to miss these. I'm going to do it. 
Today we're introducing the Sweet Sensational Corn Set. You've got to have corn for summer, sweet, sweet corn. Oh You've got this Tetra Corn, and if you get three of them, this one is the one I highly recommend. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait, there's more. We'll throw in this macaroni too. Guess how many? Three. And all this for just this much money. This is a limited time product available today only. You heard right, today only. This is the one that reflects attacks. Fine, I'll do it for the achievement. I bought the Tetra Cone set for 1,400 and 800 times by 10 yen. Thanks, I... I... Bye 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 <laughs> Yes, next time I get a number wrong, I'm just gonna say, oh, times are divided by 10. Uh, and that way nobody can say I got the number wrong. Maybe I was just doing it for a bit of fun, you know? Either way, let's head to the station because I want to see if there are any better plants I can buy from the lady. There's a lady banging around here, isn't there? There is. I'm just going to very quickly um, have a skim over here. Can I walk in here? Oh my god. I was about to be very excited then if I could walk in that cafe. But I'm just going to have a quick look around for Twilight Fragments because I feel as though there should be more that I've collected, but sometimes it's okay to be wrong. Um, so welcome to Raphacelia and okay. Rough Potato Amronian. Um, rapidly cures ailments. That's quite good. I'm actually going to buy three of those. And then, oh, we can just give these to our lovers once we get, once we get some girlfriends. Okay, well, up next, we're going to go back to the student dormitory. And who is... Is it the old couple that's available to social link on Sundays? I think it is. Either way, Iwato died dorm, and it's not going to immediately skip to evening like it would have in the original. Love that. Uh, weird being able to run around in here in daytime, though, I admit. Something I don't do often, because um, usually I'm speaking to Maya on Sundays. Um, either way, let's head up, plant our, um, what's it called, ailment curing stuff. I think it's helpful to have some of that stuff on hand. Anyway, this produce can be harvested. Go you. Should I plant something? Absolutely you should. Let's go grab the rapidly cure ailments. And 7.29 sounds fine, it's before the next full moon. And yeah, god, I really don't know what these other Twilight Fragments are. I'm probably missing it and it's like whacking me over the head, but... Mm. Either way, new message from Maya. I'm a log on now. What? Um, oh, we're not even gonna grow any closer. Well, we may as well. Again, she's a pain to actually level up, so... um, Because she's only available one day, but... Uh, let's play the MMORPG until night then, and then I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Just gonna want this to be a two hour one. So I'm in and should I go a dungeon? I see Maya, I chatted for a while, the bond between us is growing, and we're gonna get closer soon. That's what we like to hear. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I think I'm gonna end the episode for today. I know, it's so sad, but. Um, if I continue on anymore, I will end up going into the uh, Yakushima trip, which I kind of don't want to do, you know. Uh, but yeah, God, weird that I'm missing on Sunday. It's like, where are you all? Where, where are they? Where have they gone? It's like, please. There you go up here. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Not downstairs when I come downstairs. <sighs> Fine. Um, although, so I spent my time spending using the computer. Oh, I, I swear. I didn't actually realize this was where we could use them in the evening. I, I thought, for whatever reason, I'd have to go to the um, internet cafe to use those notes, but apparently we can spend them here. So, taking down enemies, rumors about your Todai, an anonymous school, and syrup of buzz. I huh. I will try one of those out at the start of the next episode, because they have me interest. But for now, that is everything. So if you have enjoyed, of course, like, comment, subscribe, it does all happen a bunch. Let us know that you don't want to see more of this and all that good stuff. And yeah, well said, and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name's been Ramek, and peace out.